Okay, Larry, it's time for the theme song. Uh, y yeah, Bob. What do I do? Hmm, let's see. I know, you play the guitar. Bob, I don't have any hands. Oh, you're right. Well, okay, well, you play this. I don't want to play that. I'll look silly. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Nope, not gonna do it. It's for the kids. Oh, okay. But they better not laugh. All right, better get on out there. If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes, up and down the produce aisle. Have we got a show for you. Silly songs with Laddie. The part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Laddie will be performing the traditional Argentinian ballad, The Dance of the Cucumber, in its original Spanish. Bob the Tomato will translate. Miren al pepino. Watch the Bien cucumber. Como se See mueve. how he moves. Como un león. Like a lion. Tras un Chasing a mouse. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Que suave es oh, movimiento. how smooth his motion. Es como mantequilla. Like en un chango. On a pelón. Bald monkey. Miren al pepino. Watch the cucumber. Los vegetales. All the vegetables. Enviren a su amigo. Envy their friend. Wishing bailar. to dance as he. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Pepino bailarín. Dancing cucumber. Baila, baila dance, ya. dance, yeah. Miren el tomate. Look at the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede bailar. He can't dance. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder bailar como el pepino. He wishes he could dance like the cucumber. Libre y suavemente. Free and smooth. Pero no puede danzar. But he, he can't. Okay, stop the music. What do you mean I can't dance? I can dance? Well, what about Uncle Louie's polka party? Didn't you see me dancing at Uncle Louie's polka party? No comprendo. No comprendo? I'll show you no comprendo! Mom! Dad! Look over here! Get a picture of me next to the cucumber in an authentic Argentinian garb! Okay, Junior. But we better hurry. I think the dwarves have your mother confused with someone else. <laughs> Say peas. Peas. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Oigan su voz fuerte. Como voice. un león. Like a lion. Listo a devorar. About to eat. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Que dulce es su canto. How sweet his voice. Que sopla su garganta. The breath from his throat is like a chorus trina. of little birdies. Escuchen al pepino. Listen to the cucumber. Los vegetales. Inviren a su amigo. Como él quieren cantar. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Pepino cantador. Singing cucumber. Sing, sing, sing. Yeah. Escuchen al tomate. Listen to the tomato. No es triste. Isn't it sad? Él no puede cantar. He can't sing. Pobre tomate. Poor tomato. Él desearía poder cantar. He wishes he could sing. Fuerte y 
dulce como el pepino. Strong and sweet like the cucumber. Pero no puede. But he can't. Ni siquiera da un sorbido. Can't even whistle. All right, that's it, señor. Come over here and let me sing you a song. Adios, amigos. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Bob is really angry. I hope he doesn't catch me. It's so hard to run with the sombrero on my head. I'm so happy to see you forgiving each other. It makes me want to sing. Do you mind? No! You know that in love we can forgive. It is the only way to live. Obey God and see that we can live in harmony. Since God has forgiven us, it's true. You forgive me, I'll forgive you. I'm gonna start to show forgiveness from my heart. Oh, Dover! Right, yes. Only there was a way for us to get back home. Yeah. Well, at least we're all friends again. Hey, has anybody seen the professor? Nope. Voila! Do you like it? I made it entirely out of bamboo and coconuts. Pretty good, huh? Well, climb aboard! Hey, Bob? Yeah, Larry. Um, next summer, let's just sell lemonade, like everyone else. That sounds like a good idea. You know that in love we can forgive. Hey, man, it is the only way to live. Obey God and see that we can live in harmony. Since God has forgiven us, it's true. You forgive me, I'll forgive you. I'm gonna start to show forgiveness from my heart. So do your part and show forgiveness from your heart. The Water Buffalo Song Everybody's got a water buffalo Yours is fast but mine is slow Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know But everybody's got a water buffalo Ooh. I took my buffalo to the store Got his head stuck in the door Spilled some lima beans on the floor Oh, everybody's stop got it. a... Stop, stop right this instant! What do you think you're doing? can't say everyone's got a water buffalo and everyone does not have a water buffalo. We're going to get nasty letters saying, where's my water buffalo? Why don't I have a water buffalo? And are you prepared to deal with that? I don't think so. Just stop being so silly. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie sing. Everybody's got a baby kangaroo. You're the big but mine. Yours too. Is it a Jeep? A Subaru. I like your tires. You've got nice chrome. A trailer hitch. Left mine at home. Oh, your suspension, it suspends me over heights I've never known. And your roll bar is to die for, by the way. I like your chrome. You already said that. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Utility vehicles cruising to 7 Eleven for a bag of Frito Lays. Oh, you and me in our spark utility vehicles. We'll slam into 
four-wheel drive And pick up a dozen eggs And if there ever was a snow, you know A really, really deep snow And if everyone was stuck but us We'd be the ones that stuck Then we could be the heroes I like your car. I like yours too. Harry Winkle. It's baby blue. How's it handled? Like a dream. How about coffee? And then ice cream. Oh, you and me. In our sport utility vehicles. Cruising and dunking donuts. For a cup of steam and joe. One day, I'll go, and we find a ranger stuck in a ditch, a nice ranger in a deep ditch. Then we could be the heroes, oh, we could be the heroes, yeah, we would be the heroes, who would push him and pull him, push him and pull him, push him and pull him right out of that your car I like yours too is it a jeep it's my sport utility vehicle the show where Letty comes out and sings a silly song. Got the munchies on that fateful night round 8 o'clock. So I phoned in a pizza for delivery. But I had a feeling that something wasn't right because I waited for hours and no pizza. I set the table with a paper plate. How would I know that it'd be late? It's taken so long, where could it be? Had a 30 minute guarantee. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese, so gooey. Pizza Angel, I'm on my knees. You're my number one pie from Sicily. Did it get lost? Did they just forget? Should I have ordered on the internet? Ready for dinner? Now I'm not so sure. I think my soda's room temperature. Pizza Angel, please come. expectation, but it was the saddest sight I ever saw. I could still smell the sweet aroma of deep dish goodness, but the box 
was empty. Your house number was broken, so I couldn't find you. I was getting kind of hungry, so I ate, ate your pizza. So, sorry about that. You don't need to tip me or anything. Pizza ain't always come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese so gooey. Pizza ain't I'm on my knees. You'll live forever in my bed, Hori. Pizza ain't always come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese so I'll never forget you, Pizza Angel. Hit it, boys! Have you ever seen a boy with funny clothes? A girl with braces on her teeth or freckles on her nose? Some kids call them oddballs. Some kids call them weird. Is it my imagination or does Aunt Ruth have a beard? God makes lots of people in all colors, shapes, and sizes. He loves them very much, and what we need to realize is that calling people names because they're different is wrong. Instead, we need to look on them in love and sing this song. I can be your friend. I can be your friend. Any day in any weather. We can be friends and play together. Yeah, we're all pretty different. Some are skinny. Some are stout. But the inside is the part that we're supposed to care about. Aye, that's where we got feelings that are very much the same. And so instead of weirdo, I think friend's a better name. I can be your friend. La, la, la. I can be your friend. La, la, la. If your hair is red or yellow, we can have lunch. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. You can just be yourself. Though so your only aspiration was to be a gourd who danced. What I never knew that I could do in widely tailored pants. But for what it's worth, your portly girth doesn't make me want to giggle. Go dance when we you're specially made. We love our for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out. Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, my hairbrush? Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Back there 
with my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there, is my hairbrush. Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair for my hairbrush. Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach. Cause he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments. Not fair, oh my hairbrush. Not fair, my poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, oh my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care. Take care, nice hair, no fair. Take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. Silly songs with Larry, the part of the show. Stop! Stop! Don't even think about it! As if omelette wasn't bad enough. Ahem. <clears throat> Philippe? Jean Claude? Oui. Really? <laughs> and now it is time for classy songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. One day, while he was waiting for the trolley, he had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly, now fancy this, and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty, like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat is this, a hat is that, a hat so fine, a high so hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap there sat a treat so fungly of chocolate this and chocolate that. Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy A chocolate bliss A chocolate snack Invention such as these are more than candy Someone might buy a box of that I have my chocolate placed upon my lap I feel so good you just cannot top that I have my snack a chocolate pack of chocolate this and chocolate that Oh golly Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Upon his hat And so his hat So beneath his hat he thought and pondered What should I do to save my hat? 
He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Above his head. He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire and to a pool. The chocolate bags. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot and my hat just might go flat. My hat just might go flat and my sweets will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dad burn his coast flat. He decided to forego his looks so dashing to save his hat. And eat a snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him. And put his hat on top of that. Oh, please. Oh, please, oh, please. Don't anybody sit close to me. Sit close to me. Upon my hat. Upon my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back. Away from my snack! A great big squash just sat upon my hat! A great big squash just squished my hat real flat! He squashed my hat, he made it flat, he squished my snack! Oh, what of that? Oh, tell me anybody, now what do you think of that? A great big squash just sat upon his hat! What's your name? They've never given me a name. I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now what do you think of that? So quietly I rest 